Welcome back. In this video, I will introduce you to the viewport feature of the Aquas extension. This will probably be the last Aquas extension tutorial. So let me remind you one last time that the Aquas extension is not a standalone product and needs the advanced framework core 4.1 or higher to function properly. Viewports always seem a bit of an overlooked feature to me, but they can actually be quite versatile. In their basic form, viewports can be used to mark a favorite spot by either the player or the developer to be visited again by just the button press. However, they can also be used to create a movement system for inexperienced players that only requires minimal controller input or a guided tour of your visualization. So how do viewports work? Basically, a viewport is an actor that marks a spot, location and rotation in the level that can be targeted by the viewport UI elements in the Aquis extension provides. In the experience, viewports are invisible, but they have a camera to provide a preview of their view in form of a render target, which is included into the UI element. Currently, viewports allow two interactions, both initiated via the user interfaces. The player can teleport to a viewport and the player can spawn a personal viewport. Actually, the Aquis extension even comes with a small hierarchy of viewports, one parent class to consolidate common logic and as children, the personal viewports, which can be spawned by the player, and the preset viewpoints, which the developer can allocate in the level before play. Let's start with the preset viewports, since they need a bit of extra work compared to the personal viewports. First, find the actor in the Aquas extension under Blueprints, UI and Viewports. Just put a couple of them into your level, and position them to your liking. Since this is a small level, I will content myself with those two. And if you want to be able to address the viewports directly, provide them with an individual index using this variable. The viewports come with three UI elements that are tailored to them. The viewport hut, the viewport palette and the viewport radial quick buttons. And the setup of all three is very straightforward. For the hut, go to your desktop or mobile pawn, open or add the hut component and add an element to the hut array. Enter a name in the struct. Choose the widget hat viewports as widget and the viewport frame as frame. Now from the hat menu, you can open the viewport hat, which is down here at the lower part of the. On the left side, you can already see the preset viewports, each represented by a button that shows their render target. So the player knows where they are going. And on the left, you have this plus button and an empty space. Let me move a bit and now press the button. As you can see, now I have a personal viewport from my current location. So personal viewports even function without additional setup. With that, let's have a look at the other user interfaces. The viewport palette is also provided by the Aquas extension already. Just add the viewport palette radial button to the radial menu component on your VR pawn. Now in the visualization, you can spawn the palette to access the viewports and add personal ones on the palette, the same as in the hut. And when you press a button, the pawn is teleported to the viewport in question. This also works the same in desktop mode, but it's more difficult to film there. Finally, we created a set of radial quick buttons for the Actus extension, which allows you to directly teleport to preset viewports from the radial menu. You can find them in the Aquas extension under Blueprints, UI, Radial and Quick Buttons. Each button is adjusted to access the viewport with the index corresponding the name of the button. So first check that all preset viewports in your level are equipped with an individual index that has a corresponding button. As you can see, right now we have buttons for up to six viewports with indexes 1 to 6. 
Now go to the VR pawn and enter the required number of, of viewport quick buttons to the radial menu of your choice on the radial menu component. As compared to the palette and HUD widget, the radial buttons are a bit limited in their use cases. On the other hand, they are easy to access and can be used as a means of transportation for inexperienced users, since they are easier to handle than movement by thumbstick or teleport. And with that, I'll sign off. See you soon. Bye bye.